the Ouija board is mad that people are mispronouncing it Ouija. I foresee I'm going to get hammered. Well, so far, this Merlin lady is not very impressive. Not a lot of mystical wonders going now, on. No, I don't think that you really don't. Okay. Tito Puente. <laughs> Chatty Kathy, where you got to go, baby? <laughs> Weirdest episode of Golden Girls yet. So that's how you got rid of Grandma, huh? Ernest is just openly carrying his script around now. <laughs> I guess he's earned it. Watching all that scary stuff just before going to bed. It wasn't that scary. Oh, no? Well, <laughs> you know, actually, <laughs> you see, Merlin used his powers to come to our time. Mr. Carl Wonders. <laughs> Then I shave my eyebrows. Something magical happens. <laughs> Are you actually asking me to tell you a story? Yeah. <laughs> Stop him! He stole our bag of alarms! Hmm. Where is that great clips coupon? Who says I look like Edgar Winter? Oh, that Chiba Chiba's worth the extra money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at all these gordita wrappers. What have I been doing? Uh, Merlin, should we come back? Seems like you got your own thing going on here. I mean, it's fine. And night crawlers. Oh, oh, sorry. You're not screwed. Ah, Sir Longneck. You really did have a long neck. Mm, I haven't seen you in ages. So Great, how are you? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. So how are you in Mr. Excitement? Okay. Ernest Borgnine so is describing us both in detail right oh, now. Fine. He's around here somewhere. Oh, from my dad yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the thing is, we haven't been getting along that well for some time mm. now. And Lifetime well, network? <laughs> I know he resents me for not being able to get pregnant on our own. Whoa, too much information. <laughs> getting him to go to the fertility expert was a giant blow to Ow. his ego, and now... After everything, when he finds out there's no hope at all, he's just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Lady Elaine Fairchild, hello. Hello, Susan. Care to have a baby with me? Ebenezer... Oh, damn, I did it again. Is it Happy Pete? Did he come inside to buy himself a treat? Mike, it's been ten years. Happy Pete will never be a thing. Well, he should be! <laughs> Service will always be selling. Yes. Yeah, uh, I just know Meatloaf is gonna walk in in some big robe. <sighs> big puffy tick in here. <laughs> well! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay. Understandable. Yeah. We have a visitor! <laughs> the entrance of Merlin or of Emerson Lake and Palmer? <laughs> I hope it's ELP. Doesn't he remind you of someone? The old who? Who else? Who else? He's a thousand years old. He's probably seen a lot of other people. <laughs> now watch closely. <laughs> you can just pop it in your mouth whole. Stop it, you gurgling freak! <laughs> Kid, run and don't what? look back. Oh my it's God! One of my Please. favorite tricks. Is that the extent of your powers, magician? Oh, I'm sorry, Merlin. May we help you? <laughs> yeah, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bob Jackass. Get the gun. Hmm. She wants me. I'm here mm -hmm. to awaken the world. Huh? Awaken the world from what? Oh, he's hot. To bring magic back into the lives of those who have let science and technology cloud their perception. I'm also renting the place out for bachelorette Such parties. the powers which truly cover the universe. To believe in the unbelievable. Can you believe that? Glenn Close really is a versatile actor. I chew places like this up and spit them into the toilet. Yeah. So I'm going to give you one last chance. Yeah. Do you know who I am? <laughs> I am the supreme being. You proved to me that you're Merlin, the great sorcerer. 
Or get off the pot. For God's sakes, Jonathan, just drop it. Leave these kind people alone. Otherwise, I won't continue to not have your children. <gasps> Jonathan, let's just go. I'm being a jerk, honey. You're hearing a wizard. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. It's a laurel. A very special stone. Oh, Merlin, can you give the ladies some space? Come on. For Pete's sakes, Madeline, don't encourage them. Nothing more than a rock. Like your womb. A most endearing wish. So Billy, by this time, a kid had thrown a chicken while an infertile couple had looked at a store. I have my own private fertility clinic in bed. All right, I've seen enough. Very common statement from audiences this. at this point if in the really film. you're really Merlin, <laughs> prove it. Why don't you give him the book? The book? Yes, dear. The book. Your book. You know the boudoir photos we took? Oh, right. What's going on? Oh, no. I may have something for you that provide the proof you seek. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Oh, Mrs. Cooper. You fine. Please, keep the stone. Oh, it's no. from my own kidneys. Yeah, it's a gift. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, and Mr. Cooper. You're welcome. A few words of <laughs> caution. If you decide to dabble with any of my spells, for whatever reason... You're welcome. Be sure. And so... We are going to shatter that headboard. <laughs> spells, love potion, <laughs> teleportation, hmm, rejuvenation. Uh, yes, we must stay young and vital. <laughs> What's his deal? <laughs> Channeling the spirit of a circus freak. Too bad Tanactin doesn't make a breath spray. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? Why are you sitting in the dark? What are you doing? Are you trying to burn the house down? I utterly loathe you. You want to have a baby? Leave. What is going on with you? This is weird. You're usually so nice. <laughs> All right, time to pen a scathing review of me. God, Merlin's crab dip recipe crab uses dip. imitation crab. Kasorgi Fasa. <laughs> That's more Epsom salt than I ever dreamed of having. I'm rich. Merlin, I love you. I award you half a star. <laughs> True Corby. He turned into the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Director tricks actor into giving his cat its dewormer. Oh, there you are. God, the uninvited cat! How a talking cat should have ended. <laughs> Black magic turned him into Peter Boyle. <laughs> Put on the Ritz. Marty! We've got to get back to the future. <laughs> now I'll have to wear a ponytail and get a Porsche and a younger wife. Don't be so surprised, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> Who'd you expect, Ernest Borgnine? Do you believe in magic now? You know, I don't like the way they're portraying the devil. It's so biased. Using one's psychic powers to do magic drains your life force and causes you to age. Every kid knows that. Oh, Just the down. <laughs> It's Possessy the Clown. Mm -hmm. It's a pinch of sulfur. Oh, no. Ah, he picked the wrong page to wipe with. Oh, no. What have you done? It's true. He is who he says he is. He is Merlin the Sorcerer. Oh, well, good. That explains everything, then. Money, I'm cooling off on the whole kid thing. Meanwhile, Ernest Borgnine's grandson is horrified. You made all this up? The hell is wrong with you, Grandpa? Now, stop interrupting. Now, as I was saying, I wrote in my screenplay that the mean local newspaper reporter's head was caving in like a deflated volleyball. Grandpa! <laughs> oh, good. Now she has to raise her horrible husband. That's what most wives think they do anyway. I am a supreme being. I chew places like this up and spit them into the toilet. <laughs> well, now you can't blame Merlin. 
Jonathan turned himself into a baby. Merlin just gave him the book. Uh, yeah, the right. why are you hitting Merlin yourself defense. Gonna... So what about Merlin's book? How is he going to get it back? Remember the homing spell? Oh, yeah. <sighs> was that weird sound a yawn? The, the kid was gearing up for a oh. homing spell. Oh. Oh. You think so, huh? You know I'm right. Kid's ready to be a cable news well, host. Jonathan <laughs> should... Uh-oh. I farted. <laughs> hey, this looks like the most expensive thing in here. Bonjour, my friend. Dino! No! Gwendolyn. Hey, quit dragon tail. Hi, I'm Satan approved. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. If I only knew where you took it, I could... That's it! Oh. I bet she sweats to the oldies. I don't care. Just get out there and be creative. Now go. Hit the pavement, you Celtic fairy. Don't I get a kiss? You'll get a lot more than that if you don't get out there and find that thing. Now go. So she threatened him <laughs> with sex? Mm-hmm. Which chin should I put my hand on? <laughs> Time to make three dollars. Could someone please play the 1812 overture? Because the monkey is no ordinary toy. What do you mean? Well, it's when she puts a couple D batteries inside, 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 it can... Okay. And... Hey, looks like a great day for the fair. I know, I know. It's all I've been hearing about all week. <laughs> Keep wearing your hose like that, you psycho. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Um... Sorry, girl. You can't come with us this time. Hey, come on. Sparkle, come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, good, I thought he was talking come to the on. kid. <laughs> Sparkle the child. Take care of Sparkle while you go to the fair. Okay. Come on, Sparkle, let's go. Atta girl. Oh, no, don't, don't leave me with the weird hose, hose man. Again, Grandpa just described them figuring out what to do with the dog in the script that he wrote. The script about Merlin the sorcerer. Right. Yep. Ugh. Just got a scary feeling that Roller Gator might be around here somewhere. Oh, God, please, no. J- just keep an eye out for Joe Estevez. It's all I'm asking. Well, she did the Van Halen ooh-la-la to the toy monkey. There you are. I caught you, you cheating old bastard. Concentrate. Come on, be creative. Merlin tries to find the post office. Where could it be? I don't know. What is he or anyone doing in this movie? I don't know. (laughs) All right, Pilgrim. I want you to take a deep breath, make a wish, and blow them all out. That wasn't a John Wayne impression. He's just very, very sick. Just like the woman from before, he wished for a baby. Why don't you open Susan's first? You know, Susan, the lady dad's trying to score her with. Susan. <laughs> Spend 30 seconds wrapping this, Susan. Go. It's Uncle go. Pusher from next door. It's a honey baked ham. Hey, what? <laughs> Come on, open it up. Hurry up. Yeah, don't worry, Susan. Everyone loved your gift, and they definitely won't be talking about how weird you are as soon as you leave. Yeah, it's fine, Susan. Stop. Petting the monkey, Susan. Yeah. 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 Go. Hey, bring that thing over here a minute, would you mind? But Dad, I'm a rock and roll Martian. You know that junk antique store off the boulevard? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw it in the window as I was passing by and I carried this. Yeah, it's from that junky antique store, so it's crawling with bed bugs. Thanks, Susan. Susan. 70s house, may I help you? Hello? Oh, hello, Mother. How are you? But what's it? Rock and roll no, Martian? Really Why would you say that, fine. Mother? Every American home was issued one of these couches around 1983. Let's see. If I opened another beer now, it would save me time later. Merlin's Saturday night fever strut needs work. Get away from me. I have mace. Oh, please, please. I mean no harm. I'm simply trying to find this toy monkey. Uh, by chance, have you seen it? That's it. Look at the monkey. Uh, this is supposed to be a reason not to mace him? By chance, uh, do you have any information on the person who, who bought it? No. I'm sorry. She paid cash for it. 
Oh, I see. I'm more into crypto myself. Have a nice day. Guys, I am starting to wonder if T.H. White actually wrote the script for this movie. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said... (laughs) Michael? I didn't need him. Michael? Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, 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 oh. Scared to death. Hi, Dad. I think we must have given her too much food, son. Yeah, but she was so skinny. Well, she's supposed to be skinny. Fish aren't made to eat very much. Can we bury her now? Yeah, we can. Well, son, if you uh, hold the lid open, we'll bury her at sea. It's like I always say, if your car isn't the color of a hand grenade, is it even worth driving? You do always say that. always say that. Carl was wrong. Motor oil doesn't taste like Hershey syrup at all. (laughs) It's like I always say, if your shirt isn't the color of a hand grenade, is it even worth wearing? Always say that. I do. Daily. Anything good on? Cartoons. Cartoons? Yeah, Scott Tenerman just ate his parents. Brought to you by LSD. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, now we're in hell. It finally happened. the old pin cushion man. Terror of Balloony Land! How dare they pay attention to something creepier than me? Hmm? Remember that kitten, Billy? That was nothing compared to this. I can't die. There's so many lawns I haven't pooped on. It's true, Kevin. Get to it, will you? (sighs) Every suburban dad can instinctively tell when their garage is in danger. But there are funny cartoons. Sparkle! Are you done yet? It's okay. You okay? It's out, yeah. It's out. Where's Sparkle? I very quickly sold Sparkle to a farm where he'll be happier. So, Billy, the little boy who looks just like you went through terrible, irredeemable grief. The monkey killed the dog? <laughs> I told you it's a bad toy. <laughs> like the Tickle Me Borg Knife. A but bad now, now toy. You're getting ahead of me. First things first. You see, David. Michael's father starts to get suspicious, so he calls a a psychic friend of his. A what? (laughs) A psychic. You know, someone who can see into the future, talk to ghosts. Ian Warwick. You know, a clairvoyant. uh... Oh, a clairvoyant. Why didn't you say so? Does he have a sea turtle under his sweater vest? Sit down, David. Legitimate clairvoyants always meet you on park benches, right? (laughs) Because of its nature, you're going to have to deal with it alone. Why do I have to deal with it alone? Listen to me, David. As a psychic, I have an aura of a certain nature that the demon would unquestionably sense. Well, duh, that's basic science. When I stepped into your house, all hell would break loose, literally. <laughs> yeah, but what am I supposed to do? I don't know anything about evil spirits. Get that toy out of your house. You I idiot. Feeling, I am sorry. God, David. I wish I could do the Piece of shit. Great, should I wear garlic around my neck, too? My God, David. I'm you sorry. moron. I'm sorry. I'm Remember, David. Never let it know that you're aware of its presence. You stupid man. Well, time to rake the shag. Do, 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 do. Not thinking about demons. Do, 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 do. No demons. Hey, hey, hey. Damn. Would you stop the whistling? We both know what's going on. This scene sucks. <laughs> Live with that shame, Kevin. I will. You've got to be kidding. Bingo. That'll be our new dog's name o And it winds up in the Houston Astros clubhouse. <laughs> hey, there's a perfectly good candle open here. And look, here's that dog I killed. Oh, I've got to get some shorts. I am baking in this thing. See, here's his problem. He's going around dressed like that, asking women, have you seen my little monkey? What? I matched with that guy on Tinder last night. Oh. (laughs) Horrible. Guys! Hey, hi. What's in the bag? A a shark or something? (laughs) Mikey and I went down to the store. (laughs) You didn't look too good earlier, so I thought we'd pull our resources and cook tonight. Will Susan be joining us, or is she just not in this anymore? Yeah? Did you take a nap? No, I cleaned the house. 
Oh, very interesting. And so, of course, this makes you feel better, hmm? Exactly. Well, sure, whatever. Say to you, do window. He's still uh, dating? <laughs> oh, God, I miss Susan. I, I think. Oh, man, I, I was right next to an old coffee filter in a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, kid. You're now part of the Dark Army. One Got Fat, the sexy reboot. <laughs> Hey, baby, what's happening? Eyes on the road, Mr. Stallone. It's an exciting tale of making an early supper. Mm, Traffic's pretty light. He should be fine. Mm. No, come on. What's happening? I really want to know. No! Oh, don't be so dramatic. What's up? Oh, shit. This guy is just wearing jockey shorts. I have some videos I have to return! What are you doing, Dave? Bugs Bunny must have taken that wrong turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> so evil wins, Grandpa Borg 9? That's right. Even your tiny soul is doomed, Billy. <laughs> I just remember that critic who said he spat things into the toilet. <laughs> uh, whoa. No, Grandpa Borgnine, leave light and hope for me, please. Get out from behind that cushion, Billy. It gets worse. <laughs> but Grandpa Borgnine, the tree fell right on him. I know, but I wrote myself into a corner. Oh, hi, Mom. Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> now put on a clean shirt while you're at it, will you? I like this shirt. Michael, that shirt is filthy. Will you change it so Grandma doesn't think I've been falling down on the job? Okay. Yes, the boy's shirt would raise the red flag here. <laughs> yeah, Jake Cosgrove. Nice to know you. Hold on. Of course. Wow, same reaction Santa had to the ice cream uh, bunny. Merlin, <laughs> you lost the monkey. What, the, the, the chimpanzee from your show? <laughs> <laughs> That's his first guess that Merlin runs a local <laughs> chimp show? It's a reach. Did you get her name? Where she lives? Sure, that standard monkey buying information. Mary Andrews, 312 Maple Drive. Granted, I don't usually accept checks, uh, but she looked uh, respectful enough. Ride, Shadow Facts, ride! Pick up truck, Marsha. Welcome home. Oh, thank you so much. Why didn't you call me? I would have come to get you. Well, because you're my son's neighbor, and that's insane. <laughs> well, Pete, I'm just him, you know. Grandma! Was Grandma trying out her tight five on the neighbor? What the hell is so funny? Damn, when you can open my present now? Well, take it over to the table and wait till Dad comes, okay? Okay. I hope it's a new Susan. David, are you sure you feel sure. You look like Wiley e. Coyote. Dad, look! A bong? Really, Ma? Isn't it, darling? <laughs> oh, my hip! I'll never make love to Ernest Borgnine! Ah, oh, Grandpa, why? That's what she said! Bad monkey. You were supposed to kill the family across the street. <laughs> 